man, this video is all over the place. It is really cool looking. This song is kind of terrible though. Oh, <laughs> this is Taylor's new song, right? What is this? Why do I feel like I've seen this? Dude, whatever, it's dark and desolate. Oh no, the TS? Oh, tell me it's not Taylor Swift. Your lies, Taylor Swift's reputation? What is, <laughs> what? Ta oh, Taylor Swift, oh, Taylor Swift. She's being reborn. I don't like your lips. That's pretty sick. I've heard the song. I haven't seen the video yet, so I'm very invested in zombie Taylor Swift. The role you made. I love the visuals. The fool. No, I don't. I really like miss you. her country I music. Don't like your perfect crime. How you That's literally what I picture every rich person doing, like just taking a bath in diamonds because they can. Was mine. This is a no, surprisingly cool music video. Little snakes? Ew. Like, I have like such a huge fear of snakes. This is not okay. It is really cool looking. This song is kind of terrible though. Oh my god, a snake holding a teapot? Oh, oh it got worse. And then that is exactly, I'm too sexy for my shirt. I know she gave Right Said Fred credit, but I still don't like that part. I don't like this part. The world moves on another day, another drama, drama, but not for me, not for I mean, me, this I video is like visually pleasing to me. <laughs> it's just, it's not Taylor Swift. It's almost a little Harley Quinn esque right there with the baseball bat. Man, this video is all over the place. Some creepy looking models. <laughs> Okay, I thought that was Taja Call. In this music video, I feel like she totally transformed into like a whole different what you made me do. Like person. Heart T swizzle. <laughs> oh, old school Taylor. I do think this part's funny though, where it's like all of her personas. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Those are all her old Taylors. I love how it's literally every version of her. It was a pretty, pretty cool concept, so I give her props for that. The old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. And I hate this part. It's so cheesy. Oh. She's dead. Oh. There's so many memes on Twitter with that like, cause she's dead. Look what you just made me do. What? Okay. All the different eras, that's cool. This part's pretty funny. <laughs> you guys! Stop making that surprise face. It's so annoying. Yeah, you can't possibly be that surprised all the time. What's with it's that always great seeing people make fun of themselves. What's with that bitch? Don't call me that. Y'all, oh, stop acting like you're all nice. You are so fake. What? This is funny. She's fighting with herself. All these different personalities. Oh, there she goes, playing the victim again. Yes. Okay, she's admitting it. At least she can make fun of herself. You're gonna edit this. She's definitely getting the last laugh on this. I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative. Okay, but no, that was really funny, actually. I like the end part a lot. That was actually great. <laughs> I'm very surprised with her. People like take things so personally, but if you can read yourself in your own music video, I think I just gained a little bit more respect for her for that. That's not what I listen to Taylor for. I listen to Taylor Swift for like fun, poppy music, and this is not fun, poppy music. Like she was just trying to be edgy, like go a different route, which is cool, but I just don't think it really worked well. Well, that was the music video for Look What You Made Me Do, the latest single by Taylor Swift. She's definitely not trying to be subtle at all. It's your fault that if this is happening to me and the old me is dead because of what you did to me and look what you made me do. And I'm like, okay, we get it. She's kind of using what people say about her in the media from like the beginning of her career till now and making a whole video out of that to show like, hey, I understand what people are saying, but you know, I'm still gonna do what I do and I'm gonna have fun with it. I thought that was a great idea. Well, this video contains numerous references and in-jokes from her career, and we wanna take a look at some of those with you now. Oh, cool. So this first one is of a dollar in her bathtub, which many people speculated is referencing when a DJ grabbed her inappropriately at an event, whom she then successfully sued for one dollar. For one dollar, yeah, I saw that. That's a good Easter egg. I, that's true, I like it. That guy was a moron, but 
I like the fact that she just sued for a dollar just to prove a point. She's like, bro, you got nothing. A lot of the time, sexual assault isn't taken as seriously, so it's great seeing someone of, of Taylor Swift status actually, um, you know, bringing that to light and showing people, you know, don't. Don't be afraid to report it, it's important. And this next one is a snake serving her tea, which fans think is a reference to people calling her a snake. Oh, oh, that's terrible. She's kind of one of those people where it's like, she looks all innocent and stuff, but she's like super shady. That's why I get the reference. She's like the original George. <laughs> she is. I'm about to spill the tea. That's what she's saying, so get ready. What tea? She's like, she, what? When you're famous, it's not tea, it's just like tabloid news. You don't, there's nothing to spill. This one scene has eight backup dancers, and many pointed out that Taylor has had eight high-profile ex-boyfriends who these could represent. Whoa, people are getting really in-depth and very specific with this, with analyzing this music video. That seems, seems a little far-fetched. I don't know if Taylor Swift went and counted. I feel like eight is just a good number to divide four and four on either side of you. Partially that's a stretch, but I would not put that past her. She seems like the person that would overthink those kind of things and go like, every single detail has to mean something. Well, the theory has further proof because all these guys are wearing shirts with I Heart TS, which is a reference to a shirt that one of her famous ex-boyfriends, Tom Hiddleston, wore. Oh, what the, please. Yeah, the relationship that lasted two weeks. It's a lot of stretching, dude. <laughs> Just like his t-shirt. Hmm, okay, well then I guess that puts a little bit more credence to the theory that they're all her boyfriends. With all the other stuff that's in this video, it wouldn't surprise me. Like, if that was a nod to that. In addition to these references, which there are tons more that we can't get into right now, there have also been quite a few memes to pop up from the video, with many people talking about old Taylor Swift versus new Taylor Swift. So we're gonna show you some of those as well right now. I'm all about the memes on Twitter. Show me the memes. I like the old one, but the new Taylor is growing on me. <laughs> That's really funny, because this is like, so relatable in Taylor's case. Don't mess with Sandy. No one can be Sandy, okay? Taylor Swift is nothing compared to Olivia Newton-John. I love Olivia Newton-John to death. Old Taylor Swift versus new Taylor Swift. <laughs> That's really fucking funny, dude. Oh my God. She has the high ground though. Darth Vader is my favorite uh, character in Star Wars. Don't do that. He's way better than Taylor Swift. No. It's not, it's not that dark. That's dark. We're talking about mass murder here. That's not, not that serious. Taylor Swift before and after August 23 of 2017. Oh my God, is that Robin? <laughs> oh my God, I remember that. That's so great. I love that. I love How I Met Your Mother. Oh, that is so hilarious. Robin sparkles, man. Like, every time I saw that too, I was like, if this isn't like a gem in the holograms reference, I don't know what this is. 2012, he calls me up and he's like, I still love you, 2017. The old Taylor can't come to the phone because she's dead. That's so good. That line just had to become a meme. That is so accurate because I felt like she was always like a super crybaby. Like I felt like she was Drake before Drake was Drake where he cries about everything and now she's like, I don't care about anything. And I'm like. It conveys what she wants to be as the evolution of Taylor Swift, but I don't think she's really that dark all, you know, deep down. It's all a facade. I think like her and Kim and Kanye are all in on it together. It was a really in visually interesting video and I wasn't sure, the, there seemed to be some sort of plot in there, but the song was really bad. <laughs> So it was kind of distracting from the video. So obviously this is a very multi-layered song, multi-layered video coming from Taylor Swift. If you had to sum it up, what would you say is the overall message she's trying to send with this video? Saltiness. <laughs> That's all I kept feeling. She's saying that she's she's had all these roles and this is who every, all these different things have created this new Taylor Swift. I know everybody in media talks about me, about like, oh, this is who you used to be and whatnot, but this is who I am now, and all of that doesn't matter anymore. Look at yourself and what you've done and like, where it has got you now. That's what I got from it. But you can also see it from the point of view like, look what you all made me do, and now this is how I am. But that will be blaming people, and she doesn't seem to be blaming people in the video. She's just like putting all monkey on herself. It's a combination of both kind of calling out the people who have said this stuff about her, but also I do think it's her kind of acknowledging some of the mistakes she's made along the way. Maybe not all of them, but hey, props to her for doing that. And finally, people were pretty split as to whether or not this was a step in the right direction for Taylor's career. So what do you think? Do you think that this moves her career forwards or moves her career backwards? Uh, you know, I, I feel like it might move her a little backwards because a the song's not very good. It seems like it's going in a 
good direction for her. From a monetary standpoint, from a marketing standpoint, moving forward, this is good for her. This is what people are gonna buy the most. Dude, you get people talking and thinking about stuff and going and watching the video, I think it's a step forward, 100%. It is a step forward on like career, like she is getting what she wants, which is everyone talking about her. This made me less excited for the new album than I was. So for me, it moves it back. I would say stagnant. It's pop music. It's not supposed to be some sort of revolutionary kind of thing, you know? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it's Taylor Swift. I think this is a step forward. The fact that Taylor has the courage to uh, create something completely different that's like a stroke of like genius. This is like a good step for her because it's like, this didn't annoy me. Like I listen to her stuff and like I watch her videos and I'm like, oh, okay, whatever Taylor, it's cool, it's a cute song. With this, I'm like, yo, I, I think I'll listen to this on repeat for like the rest of the day. Thanks for watching another episode of Adults React. For more episodes, subscribe and hit the bell. Thanks for watching everyone, see you later. Hey guys, Ethan here from FV. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Adults React. And if you wanna check out behind the scenes of all of our shoots and everything else going on at FBE, be sure to follow us on Snapchat and Instagram. The links are in the description.